Last Night by The Strokes. This is a big favourite of mine and it is in essence super simple. In fact the guitar version actually only has three chords and the other chords that are implied in this song are actually born out of the bass. So we're, we're a real fundamental part of this song where the guitar lines don't really make sense here without the bass line added to them. This is again in the key of C as was uh, Common People that we looked at also in this series and I'm going to be using a pick. You could of course play this, there'd be no reason why you couldn't have a go at using your fingers for this one, but in the original it's, it's a pick. The start of the song was actually a point that I would say uh, Chris got wrong in this. It's the right notes but he was playing the introduction down here and it is very much the same notes but played up here. It was no bad thing, it doesn't sound terrible because of that or anything, but just to make sure I'm communicating this right to you guys, every time that we're playing an F and a G in this song, we're going to be using the 8th fret and the 10th fret on our bass, and that is on the 3rd string, 1, 2, 3, and that would be 2 bars, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would happen twice. And then we slide down to the third fret for our C note. The other main uh, root notes in this song, remember that root note is the bass note of a chord. And we're, we are the root note of this, this all the chords in this song. Uh, would be the C. Last night she said, oh baby I feel so down. That's the fifth fret and that's a D. Oh and it turned me off. G at the tenth fret. Then staying to the dots. And I feel left out So I So the same again, see? I turned around Oh babe, I don't care no more I know this for sure I'm walking out that door Alright? And we're playing that to a very loose rhythm, okay? And we have a couple of options with this after checking out um, the original recording and then a lot of the lives, um, live strokes takes of this. It's, um, they're a bit lax to say the least live, so we have a bit of room for interpretation here. I would go for just the simple way to do it, the simple option. We have a syncopated rhythm. So I am lifting off in the middle there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This would be for all the verses and even a bit of the solo as well. Then we have this other part which we could play instead. And then everything else is the same, so... I would do that with the hammer on. with the little finger, pick, and everything else the same. Even playing it with one finger would be fine. And then for that intro, of course, we were here, and that's the same as the bridge as well. I guess you can call it the chorus, I guess. I don't know what we call this, but the people, they don't understand. No girlfriends, they can't understand. Your grandsons, they won't understand Just the same as the intro Me, I ain't never gonna understand Last night Going back to that section uh, The second time that would happen We of course have the one, two, three, four, stop 
They won't understand Last night She said Okay, so let's just have a play along now at 75% speed from the introduction, and let's just have that intro first chorus, the, the first, the main chunk of the song that is then repeated. Let's hear it from the start. So we're gonna get ready. One, two, one, two, three. And simple. Today. This time, I like the hammer. The chorus coming up. F and G, F, O, or G, F, G, You can hear that after that, we're repeating sections we've already done. Understanding the sequence of those sections and being able to play them correctly takes an understanding of how the song goes, remembering the song and just knowing how it goes, and then a bit of practice working on all the parts to making sure you're prepared for that. That is your job to learn it. Learn it how you're comfortable doing and you'll, you'll find uh, your way of doing it, whether it's just listening and watching repeatedly, whether it's writing it all out, all the sections, you do you. However, figure out how you learn best. The only bit that's different is the guitar solo. Let's skip along to the guitar solo, work through it at 75%, then we're going to play along to the whole thing. And I left that night, so this is where we drop out. We're going to get ready on F and G. F, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G. And to C as if it's verse. D. And we stay on the D longer. G. Stay on the G. And then F. G as normal. Let's do that bit one more time. So it was just C, D, and then G staying on those notes. Dropping out. F and G. One, two, three. C. Here we go. Stay on C. Stay on D. G. We'll keep going because we've got the stop here as well. We're gonna start. One, two, three, four. Again, repetition of the verse section after that. That is all sections of this song. Everything else is just a repetition of something we've already done. 
You do you. You need to know this song well enough and research it uh, by watching the video and learn all the sections and how long each bit lasts for. That is the intention of this course, for you to practice doing this for yourself so that you can learn, then take on and learn any band songs that you want because you're used to this process. Here's the full play along video now. Remember you're in control. You're going to slow it down uh, using the cog feature on YouTube where in the settings you can slow it to 0.75 or even 0.5 if you need. Um, working up to full tempo. You're in control with that tempo but this is going to be played as normal uh, at 100% speed. So all the best with it. Here it comes. Four counting. That is how to play Last Night by The Strokes, a big favourite of mine. Be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist here on YouTube and you'll find a lot of helpful stuff on the website andyguitar.co.uk and the Andy Guitar app which is free to download and you can check out more videos from this series right now.